Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to see that basically how we can just fill the null values in this, the data which we are having, okay? Let's quickly go on to the, those things and let me just quickly give you a revision that basically previously what we were doing, we were just importing the libraries numpy and the pandas, right? So here I have just written import numpy as np, right? This is the short form which I have given to this library. Secondly, what I have written, I have written import pandas as pd. So for the pandas, this is the short form what I have given, right? Now just, just let me do just one thing. Just let me quickly run all the cells so that it will afterwards not create any problem for us. Now let's go to the last thing and what we have seen, we have just checked about the null values. And as I just mentioned that today, I'm just going to tell you that basically how to fill these values, right? Now there are basically several ways for filling these null values, for checking the null values. And for filling them, there are several ways. So just let me add here the text and let me just quickly write down those ways for you so that you can just uh, get the proper things about it, okay? And I will just put here a hash, sign double hash, okay? And I will just remove this one for a while and here I will start writing. First one is, is null, okay? Uh, is null, okay? And the brackets, these brackets, fine? What next I have? And uh, Okay, comma, I, I will just put a comma, okay? Is null. Next, I have not null and OT in U double L. This is another way for filling the values. Fine. Thirdly, what I have? Thirdly, I have drop null D R O P N A. So, this is another way for filling for drop. So, basically, this drop null is used for dropping a particular column. If you just want to drop a particular column, if it is having many null values and many values like this. So, what we do, we just basically drop that column. Okay. So for that, we have this drop na column, okay? So this drop na, then again comma, and here what we have, we have one more one, and that is fill na, fi double a n a, okay? And I will just put this bracket. Fill na is also used, and then, and we have even replace. Now this replace is used to replace a particular thing with a like particular column or something like that, okay? And here what I would just write, here I would just even write as, Okay, so there we have one more that is interpolate. Now, basically, what is this interpolate used for and what is the functioning of all these? We will be seeing this thing further in the coming upcoming videos. But right now, we can just have this idea that, okay, these are the things which are basically used for filling out the null values in the programs uh, and in, in the like data there, which whichever are blank. These are used for filling all of these, right? Now, what we have... So now today we are just going to see about this fill now function. Okay, we are just going to see that basically how it works and how we just like can use this function. Fine. I would just put uh, like I would just start writing here. So DF was the name which we have given to our column. Sorry, data set, right? DF was the uh, variable in which we have stored our column. Now, which column I want to fill up? So let's go here and see. So my age, class, and marks. They it, three of them are having one one null values in them okay so i just want to fill it with firstly i will just fill it with age okay i would just write here as age i would put a dot and i would use my fill now function okay now here inside these quotes i would write that word or that sentence what i want to come in that null value place let's say in my age column in the downside i want that there should be written that missing. So basically that means that for, for this particular student, the age is missing. So I want this missing should be written. So I would just write it as here. Okay. I just wrote missing and I will just put a comma. And here I would just write as in place is equal to true. So that it will just do the uh, very few, like things in my data set also. And I would just run this. Fine. So after running this, I would just check out my DF and I would just do that thing and see here downside what i just got in the age column that is missing let me just quickly show you that thing so here we go so here above it is age and here i just got that thing that is missing fine so this is basically how we just like use this function to write something to fill something in that particular area if you just want to write a particular word so this is basically how we just use this fill now function okay now let's do some things. Let's try out some function on this class also. Okay, class is one of the columns which we are having. Now let's say uh, one like let's say at one place you are having the data for all of the students that are basically from only one class, that is tenth class. Okay, 
now in bit in basically in between you are having some null value that is nan now what you want that whatever the class is written at the above side of that uh, particular uh, column that should appear in the downside also let's say here 10 is written so in this nan value also this nan value should also be replaced with 10 only then what we you we do we basically use one method and that method is called fpil i will just put a comment here and I would just use as F fill. This is the method which is used. Okay, so if I just want that, whatever the uh, like value which I have here, that is 10.0. So that should also come in this downside that is at the place of none. So I just want this thing. So in that case, we will use this F fill function, right? I would just start writing the things here. I would just write as DF. Here I would just write the column which I want and that is class, okay? I would just put here as fill. And filna is my function under which this sub function comes. Okay. I would just put here as method is equal to, and here I would just write f fill. Fine. So right now I have just write like in this class, df class. Okay. Class is one of my columns in which I just want to fill using my filna method. And inside this method, I, I even have some more uh, categories, right? So f fill. Even we have b fill. Even we have back fill. Okay. So all these works basically uh, like same all these are little bit same to each other okay so f -fill. now here what i would just okay just let me delete this thing once okay now here what i would do i would just put a comma and here i would just write as in place is equal to true fine and i would just run my program and even i would just write here as df so let, let that first one run out fine now as soon as i'm going to get my output now see basically here what i got i got this 10 once more so this 10 was written here, right? I just got that 10 here also. So this was the use of this fill function that I just mentioned that what is this fill used for? This fill is used for filling that particular missing uh, missing value with the value which is present above that. If I'm just going to use this fill function here also, then here what I'm going to get, I'm going to get this 76.0 as here the, uh, like that would also be filled here, fine. I have even one more parameter inside this f fill function. Let me just quickly show you that thing. I will just write here as df and now I would just do it on the marks column, okay? So marks, okay, it's m-a-r-k-s, fine. Here I would just write dot and here I would just write fill now, fine. And in the bracket, I would just write here as method is equal to and I would just write f fill. Okay, f fill, fine. Right. Now what I have, I have the parameter that is limit. Now basically what is this limit used for? I would just let you know here right now that let's say here you are having four to five blank columns. Okay. Okay. You are having four to five blank columns. When you are just going to use this f fill function, so it will fill all that four to five columns consecutively with the same values. And if you just don't want that thing, you only want that only your these, these two call these two uh, values should be filled with the above value whatever is present so here you can just set a particular limit right now i have set the particular limit as one so basically what it will do it will only and only fill my one value here okay let's say downside this i am having some more like blank values so for that case what i can just say if i just want to fill it only in two i have five nan values consecutively and i want to fill in only two so here i can just use as limit is equal to and i can just put two okay i would just put a comma here and i would just write in place okay i i hope you're not able to see right and in place is equal to i would just put here as true and i would just now run it once more fine and just let me take it to the side fine and here i would just again run as df fine so now you can just see that it has been filled up that is from 76.0 my this value is also filled from 10.0 and here i just mentioned missing so here it is it is giving me the output as missing fine so this is basically this is these are the very few ways how you can just fill the values using the fill now function now there are several more ways which you can use we'll be discussing all of them in the further videos but for now this is the way which you can use for filling the values and for basically uh, for filling the values. Let me just quickly recap. So fill now function here. Firstly, if you just want to like enter a particular word or something. So in that case, we use this thing. Okay. Next, what we have, if you just want to fill whatever the value is present at the up of that 
particular column. Let's say here it is 10. Now if you also want to just fill it with 10 only, then we use the function that is f fill, okay? And we have even one more parameter in this that is limit. So what is this limit used for? If we just want to uh, like uh, give a particular limit that okay, I want to only fill the these two these two consecutive rows among the five ones. So it will only like solve uh, like fill that uh, rows fill that particular value in the only two only fine. It will not take it to after two right. So this is the whole idea about using this fill now function and some parameters of this fill function. I hope you just got the idea that basically how we do all of these. So this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye.